A shining star Yes, you are A falling leaf An autumn breeze A winter snow An April rain You're everything Inside my dreams And I can't wait to go to Okay, so this is going to be a review for this wig that I am currently wearing, which is from Uni Wigs. And this wig I received, I think, I want to say I received this wig probably about a week and some change ago, but I don't recall. Um, but I've had it for like a little bit. It's not been that long, but it's not been a long time ago either. So... I don't know, when you receive the wig, it's going to come in a box like this. This particular unit that I'm currently wearing is style number LS0009. It was a one and it's jet black. Um, I haven't had jet black hair in a, a long time. They have care instructions as well um, so that you can, you know, know what you should. If this is your first time buying a lace wig or whatever. It, came, it comes with a brush. It's a vented paddle brush, which is nice. And then it also came with an instruction for UniWigs products. So it has a booklet of all the stuff that you should know if, if you don't know what you're doing. I don't need that. The, the cap size is a petite 21. So usually when you go get wigs from sites, it'll say cap size 1 or cap size 0 or small, medium, or large. So theirs is a little bit different. It's a jet black Indian Remy full lace wig um, and the length is 24 inches. I curled this hair. So this is all the hair pretty much pulled to one side because I always just have it either front or back. So I'll try something different. This unit did not come with clips in it. So currently I have no clips in, no nothing. If I slide this puppy back, it's gonna slide back. It also came with this coloring. I guess I'll take it out. But it came with a coloring, which I thought was really cool because a lot of a lot of times when you work with companies or you buy repetitively from companies, you're not really sure what the color is gonna look like until you get it. Which sucks because if you get a color that doesn't go with your undertone or your skin tone for that matter, you're pretty much left with having to send the wig back, which takes more time for you to get what you want. So therefore, um, from my understanding in the email that I uh, had with. Susan over there at UniWig, she said that when you do order, you should receive uh, a, one of these color rings if you request one, I believe. And they have all the the color names on them so you know which one is what. And then it comes with all of these so you know which color hair you're getting. So you can pretty much swatch it to see which gonna what's going to go with your skin tone and what's not. Um, so I thought that was really cool. The box is actually really nice. It's just not no regular box. It took time to actually print a box. Um, about the unit that I'm currently wearing, my likes and dislikes, one thing that I do like is it lays really, really flat, and it, it didn't take much for me to get it this flat. I cut a little bit of layer in the front, like right here, just so that it won't sit, you know, clean down or whatever on my face. Um, it's full. It's not uber full, but it's not... 100% density thin it's like just the right amount and then of course since I've added these um, curls in here it actually did help the when I received the wig it was more like a wavy texture it had like this nice little wave to it or whatever which is nice but it wasn't I couldn't do anything with it like it just looked like some it looked coarse you know it didn't have this beautiful it didn't look like the picture on the site that's pretty much what it was like you had to work with it so um i usually when i receive units i don't co-wash them or wash them because i want to see what they're going to do fresh out the box um but this one i had to because i began to curl it and one problem that i ran into was the fact that it was greasy not necessarily like i put some blue magic grease in it but it just had this stringy feel when i curled it so I was like well I'm gonna just wash whatever is in it I'll just simply just wash it out and then start over so I washed it last night and then um it air dried or whatever and then I just threw some curls in it and then kind of layered it a little bit in the front it still has that greasy feel to it which I don't understand why after I 
I co-washed it and I used my clarifying shampoo, but the hair is really fine. So I guess any type of oils that was left in, it's just like you have to get them all out in order for them to act right. I don't know. I've never had this issue before, but I don't dislike the unit at all. I actually really love it. The issue and the problem that I have is that it's a little bit greasy. Like I wouldn't wear this wig straight. Like that's just a no-no. Like for this particular wig, to wear this straight would look like I had a, a, a greasy press. Kind of, sort of, you know, but what I did was to kind of get that out and help it, I used some some dry shampoo. And you, whenever you have wigs that are either too shiny or they're a little bit greasy or your hair gets greasy, if you use dry shampoo and then comb it out, it'll help uh, diffuse the oils that are in the hair. So that's pretty much what I did. And then I just tousled the curls or whatever and then brought it over all to one side because I never wear my hair like this. Just for something a little bit different. Um, Because you guys know I, I, I live in the side part, you know, so I don't want it to get a little bit boring. Some of you say it is boring, but... I like it, okay? It works for my face. So, there you go. Um, so, yeah. I don't have anything else really to say about the unit. It's nice. It's pretty. Um, the hair texture is really, really soft. When I received this wig, this is the softest wig I've ever gotten ever sent to me. And I mean that. Like, no BS. This was very soft. And it's still very soft. And I put hairspray in it and everything. And it's still very, very soft. So, you know, you really can't go wrong with that. But it's nice. It's pretty. It's pretty, you know, to the point. Um, I don't really know what the issue is with the oil, though. Like, I don't know why is it so greasy type. Um, and I don't want to, like, use, like, dishwashing liquid to do it because then I'm going to dry the wig out. And then that's going to suck because I'm going to have to decondition it, which probably would make the situation worse. And I don't want to do that because it is a very soft and beautiful unit. I don't want to mess it up. So, yeah, um, let me know what you guys think. Again... I'll put all the information to this wig below. This should be right here. Um, should be the uh, style number to this wig. And again, I have 24 inches. It is Indian Remy. And it's in 1B. So yeah. And it's full lace as well. Um, it didn't have any... The It don't have a stretchable panel in the back. Like some of the other ones. I mean, it's stretchable. But it's not like that one little string. Like adjustable strap situation. It's not in the back. It's like I could bond this wig down in the back. And then throw it in a ponytail. It's like that type of wig. So yeah. Again, if you guys have any questions. Just put them below. And make sure you guys visit uh, Uni Wigs. If you're interested in this particular unit. Um, I love the thickness. It's that the, it won me over. So out of a 10, I'll give this a 7. Because the thickness and the actual flatness, because it's full, but it's not full at the roots. It didn't take me much to flatten it. And then also, the fact that it's very free-flowing and it's soft. So, yeah. Y'all get a 7 for this. It just needs... I don't know if it's just my unit or what. Like I said, I don't know. But, yeah. Make sure you guys hit up Uni Wigs, and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.